Why is the government ahead. banning sex for those who aren't married? I haven't seen that report. Um, I can't comment. Hi guys, I'm in the kitchen making a meal for my children. Yes, you may have seen the headlines today about this uh, lockdown sex ban, which makes it sound like everyone in the country is no longer allowed to have sex. Let me just tell you this, um, if you want to quell your sexual urges and you really want to get sex out of your mind uh, during lockdown, can I recommend that you have children and spend 10 weeks at home with them, homeschooling them. Once you've done that, trust me, <laughs> you'll never want to have sex again. I'm more interested in whether you think it's right that uh, couples unless they're married and living together, or they can be unmarried living together, the couples, are, it's going to be illegal, according to the government, to meet for yeah. an indoor romantic liaison for anybody. You're reading, something, you're reading something out of a newspaper, which I haven't seen. It's ham, OK? I'm putting ham in your sandwich. You like ham. So actually, the lockdown sex ban is not about everyone. It's about people who are not married, single people who might be dating and do not live in the same house. And if you watched Good Morning Britain earlier today, you may have seen Piers Morgan get quite angry. So what's your reaction to it? I haven't read the report and I haven't seen the article. How many times do you want to ask me the same question? Exasperated. And you wonder why MPs, ministers don't come on your shows. You've asked me the same question a number of times and I've given you the same answer, yet you're still asking the same question. Well, I'm asking the question because it's going to affect millions and millions of British people. The fact you haven't bothered to read the papers yet is not my problem, is it? Impatient. OK, well, if I was advising any Tory MP doing a show in the morning on breakfast television for anyone, I would just say, check what's in the news, because you might get asked about it. And I'm sorry for asking you about what's in the news. I can only apologise. With Tobias Elwood, who wouldn't really respond on the whole lockdown sex ban issue. They've got to have vegetables. I'm a good parent, you see. Can I say something? Some of you watching this may know I'm a Christian. And if you're dating right now, and you can't spend the night together, and you cannot have sex together, let me say this. That's what it's like to date when you're a Christian, OK? This is the Christian dating experience you are going through right now. I wish I could say I feel sorry for you, but I dated my wife, who I've now been married to you for almost, well, I think it's 10 years this year. I think I dated my wife for almost two years, right? No sex. Nothing happened. Two Years. Two years. Two years. I mean, there we go. Two years, right? I did it for two years. So no complaining if you have to do it for what? Four weeks, five weeks, however long lockdown goes on for. But I tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to be really nice here. I'm going to give you my top tips. Okay? My top tips for getting through the next few weeks without having sex from someone who avoided it for two years. Why not go outside and find somewhere lovely and quiet to pray, to pray. And while you're praying about the fact you can't have sex, you can cry out with frustration to God. Ah! If you're feeling really hot and bothered, climb inside your freezer. That'll cool you down. <laughs> By the way, always tell someone before you do this because uh, you don't want to shut yourself in and then <laughs> freeze to death. <laughs> I know you want to keep in mind of sex, but that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> See you later. And if you do feel tempted to go online and look at porn, why not look at Christian porn? Because you see, in Christian porn, instead of taking all their clothes off, the women just put more and more clothes on. I mean, look at this. A woman in a cardigan. A woman in a tracksuit. Nuns! I hope you found that really helpful and informative. Right, I've got to go and give these guys their meal. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Looks all right? Looks okay? And uh, enjoy the rest of your sexless lockdown.